Welcome back to my channel everybody. This is your first time here. My name is Septian. I review two wireless stereo earbuds and inner monitors. Today I'm going to be doing a review that I should have done over two months ago of the AKG N400NC earbuds. Now these come with an 8.2 millimeter driver, Bluetooth 5.0, and they support SBC and AAC playback. They also have infrared sensors for auto pause and play. They also come with an adjustable ANC mode and ambient mode. You can use either earbud individually. The charging case and the earbuds is made out of an aluminum and soft silicone finish. They support quick charge. They have an IPX7 waterproof rating and they work with a companion app and these only cost $47.99 as recording of this video. So with that being said, I'm going to do a mic test in a quiet and loud environment and I'll come back and talk about the sound quality. This is a mic test of the AKG N400NC earbuds in a quiet environment. And this is a mic test of the N400NC in a bar or a sports stadium or in a public area with a lot of people around. As always, leave a comment below and tell me what you think of the quality of the mics. Now, Good Seal provides increased passive noise isolation and also enhances the sound quality, including the bass, for a good listening experience. Now, with that being said, the bass on these sound amazing. Um, use any type of like catchphrase you want, you know, breathtaking, riveting, edge of your seat, four stars. I love the bass. The sound the N400 produces is really good. That's not hyperbole. I know Critical, he absolutely adored the sound from these earbuds. And that's because you're able to EQ the sound with the AKG app. And you know, everything, like all the detail that you get, the cymbal crashes from uh, Danzig's mother, the vocals on Adele's Hello, uh, Holly Cole's cover of I Can Cle See uh, Clearly Now, they sound like I'm listening to these uh, the songs right in the studio. Even the bass on Vince Staples' Take Me Home. Every genre, no matter what it is, shines with the N400 NCs. And with that, I'm going to give the sound quality a 5 out of 5. Truly amazing. Now, fit on in-ear monitors are, especially earbuds, is subjective. I don't really like to talk about them because everybody's ears are different. But uh, I had to talk about it with these. Now, out of the box, the N400 NCs fit comfortably. I'm one of the lucky few people who has an average built, average height, average shoe size, average hands, average ears. So I was able to get a good fit with the stock tips. And they also come equipped with ear wings to give you an even better stable fit. As you can see here, my camera will focus. There you go. These are the medium ones. The large fit me best. I just want to go ahead and tell you right now, if you're a side sleeper, don't do it. Don't do it. These are some chunky earbuds, and I thought, okay, maybe they sit good in my ears. I can go to sleep in them. I woke up, man, my, my left, my right side, and my jaw was sore as hell. Now, on these, I have the SpinFit CP360s. These are the Gen 2. As a matter of fact, this is the package that these came out of. And you also get uh, medium uh, comply foam tips inside of here. So in summary, just make sure you always test out the different ear tips when you get some earbuds. That way you get a good fit. Please don't leave a one star review on Amazon because you couldn't find a fit because you just took them straight out of the box and just put them in your ears. And you're like, oh, these suck. Try out the different tips. You'll be surprised. Um, just by changing, by doing that, you'll get a better fit and the music will sound a lot better. And make sure that they work for your ears. Now with the fit and comfort, I'm gonna give these a four out of five. Now this segment is gonna be short, just like the battery life on these. You're getting six hours on a single charge, plus you're getting six hours with the charging case. And that's with A and C off. You're getting five on a single charge, plus five with the case, and that's with A and C on. The N400 NCs, they support quick charge. 10 minutes in the charger 
in charging case will give you one hour of music playtime. Also, these are Qi wireless compatible. You can slap these on a wireless charging uh, pad, like the anchor I got right here, and they'll instantly start charging. My one gripe is the LED light is on the back instead of the front. And that in the battery life. That, that, that's one of my two gripes with these earbuds. Uh, two hours from zero to 100. I'm not gonna lie, the battery life, it really needs some improvement. But I think that's the reason why AKG is selling these at this $47.99. Usually they're going for like 140. I think they're trying to get rid of all the stock. and They might be coming out with some new earbuds. Hopefully they do. And they have at least 24 hours of product with the case. I've tried to kill these, the battery, and I'll get about maybe four hours with singles usage. But there's not much to fall back on with the charging case, which is my only gripe. So with that, I'm going to give the battery life a two out of five. The N400s have full touch controls that are customizable with the companion app. Sorta. Of. Most of the controls like play, pause, skip and previous track, activate voice assistant, all of those are all on the right earbud. You cannot switch those commands. So just keep that in mind if you're one of those people type of people who like to use one earbud at a time. Now the ambient aware and the talk through and A and C, those commands are on the left earbud. So as you can see, I have the app open on my 12 Pro and by default, a and C will always be on. You also have the option to turn on talk through and ambient aware. And if I touch it over to the side and go into gestures, you'll see this is all you get on the left earbud. Now, if you go to the right, all of the controls are on the, the right. That's pretty much all of them. And you get the volume up, volume down with a swipe forward and a swipe back. I like that you can customize these. I don't know, maybe, oh, I usually use the right earbud most of the time. So yeah, I'll give the touch controls for the N400s a three out of five. Okay, so after using the AirPods Pro, I feel, in my opinion, the ambient mode on these is the litmus test you can hear all of your surroundings it's as if you're not wearing anything in your ears at all unfortunately that's not the case with the ambient aware and the talk through with the n400s there's like this static that's surrounding the uh surrounding sound when you have that mode activated uh it's not that bad when you listen to music but when you want to hear your surroundings you don't kind of want to have music on so the ANC, it's not uh, it's not great, but it's good. I mean, and also, if we go back here, you go into ANC tuning, you can actually make it as strong or as uh, light as you want. And all you gotta do is this, you know, save it and then boom. Also on the bright side, <clears throat> the, the, the EQ does not shift or change when you're switching between the three. So I'll give the ANC a 3 out of 5, and I'll give the Ambient Aware Talk Through a 2 out of 5. I just don't like that staticky noise that it makes when you're trying to hear what's going on around you. Okay, now this is my favorite segment of my reviews, and it's called Can I Go Deaf? I want to see how loud the max volume is on these N400s. So I'm going to hold this a certain way because... They have infrared sensors on both, and if you don't cover it up, the music will pause. So, let me use my decimal meter, and I'm gonna see how loud these get. And, as I originally knew, they get really loud. 122 decimals, that's the peak I've seen. They were before getting to like 106, 107, but I got these at max volume, and yeah, if you want to uh, blow your eardrums out, well, you got some earbuds for less than $50 that can do that. I don't usually rate the Can I Go Deaf or the volume. I guess I can go ahead and start doing it. I'll give these uh, 4 out of 5. These are earbusters. 
So in summary to this review, the N400NC are a great buy at less than $50. The sound quality is uh, top shelf. You get good latency, you get a premium feel, you get an easy to use and easy to understand companion app, you get clear mids, you get some ANC that's tolerable. The ambient mode could use a little work and they could have a little more better, a, a little better battery life than six hours with the case. But like I said before, they're only $47. So, you know, you can't really complain that much. So with that being said, that concludes the review. You sort of slap that like button, comment down below, share this video, enjoy your life, enjoy your sound. I'll see you next time.